Hello YouTubers, Hammy Technoid here, and today we're looking at the back of a DBX224 a noise reduction device, and I'm going to talk about how to hook it up to a tape deck. Um, in this case, it's going to be a Tascam 122 Mark III, but it doesn't really matter how you what, which tape deck you use, it's, the hookup is going to be the same. Um, what we're looking at is the back of the unit, and you see there's, there's a side here that says preamp or receiver, and then this side says tape recorder. Okay, so you've got uh, two sections of the, of the uh, noise reduction device, one that goes to your preamp or receiver, and one that goes to the tape deck. And here's the bottom of the tape deck here, and you see it's hooked up uh, input and output. And uh, this side over here is the tape recorder side, okay? And under here it says, from recorder output, this one. Okay, so this line goes back to the output side, okay? The output side of the tape deck. And then the other one says, to tape recorder input. And that one goes back to the input and those are very important you have to have that set up right or you're not going to get anything right okay and then this side over here this is the one that goes to your receiver now this would probably be hooked into your tape monitor loop okay and then you've got uh, you know it says from preamp output that would be coming from the tape out on your receiver or preamp and then to preamp tape input that would be the input of your preamp okay on the tape monitor side so once you've got that all right then you're good to go with the uh with the the rest of the calibration or or should i say setup because eh, with dbx there really isn't any calibration all you're doing is level matching and that's what these guys here are for oops my light fell okay and then uh yeah you've got the level adjust there and one side says record the other side says play and the one that says disc, that's if you've got any DBX discs, and that's a different adjustment altogether. We won't go into that. But uh, yeah, the record and the play adjustments are critical. And when you get to that point, what you need to know about DBX is that it is a compander, okay? It is a compressor and a, an expander. And that's how it, its noise reduction works. It compresses during the recording process and re-expands during the playback. Okay, and you've got to have the levels matched or else it'll be, you know, loud on recording and low on playback or low on recording and loud on playback. So what you're doing is you're just matching. And what you come into uh, account with is you've got to know uh, what's called the unity gain point. The unity gain point is typically around minus five to minus three. And that's where you wanna have your levels uh, at the same point and I'm going to show you that in the front when I come around the front Okay, so here we are back out in the front of the deck and you see the DBX unit is on top and it's in the bypass mode and What we are going to do is we are going to accomplish the Unity gain set, okay, and by doing that you what you need is a uh, a source of sound, music, a test tone will work, but I don't want to hook up a test tone because most people don't have test tone generators. They can just randomly hook up to their equipment. So I'm going to take a piece of music that I got from YouTube's library, and uh, it's very low dynamic range. It means it's loud, but it doesn't change volume very much. So yeah, that's what you want to do. You want to have something that doesn't change volume very much so you can use it as a reference, okay? Uh, it's a, not a good reference, but it's a reference nonetheless. So yeah, here I'm going to start the music, and you see with the settings here, you have to have your volume, your output level all the way up, okay, and your volumes first, you start off with the DBX bypassed, okay, it's bypassed. So then you get your needles bumping, okay, and you want them bumping, oh, I don't know, about minus five, get them bumping around minus five there, okay. So then you take the DBX and you turn it on, okay? And you want that to be bumping at about minus five too, okay? And if it doesn't, you go in the back and you turn that little blue record dial until it does start bumping into the minus five, okay? And then you've got your unity gain, see? What happens is you know you got your unity gain when you can jump between tape 
and bypass and the volume doesn't change. The levels are the same, okay? So that's a pretty easy way to calibrate your, your deck, you know, to, to get it aligned on your DBX noise reduction. And then once, you, once you've got it, you just start recording, okay? Just leave it in tape and start recording. And I'm gonna pause the music because because it's getting annoying and it was loud, but I was just using it as a reference. So yeah, um, this deck is now aligned with the DBX. I you know, dropped the word calibrated, but it doesn't really calibrate. It's just aligned uh, volume-wise. So yeah, this deck is good to go. And this applies to any two-head, three-head deck. You just uh, get the, uh, the unity gain point. And the unity gain point might vary between decks. It could be minus three, could be minus five, could be minus seven. Uh, the one thing is you don't want to get distortion going on. And that's why you select a, a unity gain point because once the DBX is kicked in, it has wide dynamic range and it just takes over. So uh, yeah, I hope you got a little bit from this uh, tutorial. And uh, until next time, see you later.